This is Twit. Bob Ventura, California. Hey, Bob. Hey, Leo. How are you doing, bud? I am great. Thank you. I missed you the missed you the last couple of weekends. I uh, I've been listening to you since I had a twelve foot satellite dish in my backyard. <laughs> Holy cow! On the Tech TV, yeah, ZD TV back then. Yeah. Yeah. And I followed a lot of your recommendations over Thank the years. You. But uh, one of the things I'm noticing recently is that you haven't been ever haven't been uh, advocating for uh, malware and uh, antivirus stuff uh, recently. And of course, while you were on vacation, I got a notice from ESET that my uh, antivirus is expiring. And I, I'm in my memory, I don't see anything that they've ever caught that they've brought to my attention or quarantine. I see some block up ads uh, come up every once in a while. I must know if I allow or block. And so I'm kind of curious as to as to what I should be doing here. I do use Carbonite on uh, on my main business computer, and I do have five computers, two desktops, and uh, I mean, yeah, three desktops and two uh, laptops, and it is a business computer for one. And I do build uh, uh, wet, uh, niche and authority websites. So I'm I'm confused as to what your recommendations are now about uh, keeping the antivirus uh, uh, current or just going to Carbonite or making sure that all my computers up to, to Windows 10. Or I, I, So I'm a little confused. I wonder if you could point me in the right direction. So um, that's a good – it's a great question. And uh, – you, you you said something very interesting because people are saying, well, he's asking about antivirus, but then he's mentioning backup. But it it is absolutely the case that one of the most important security measures you can take is to have good backups. And uh, by good, I mean multiple copies, not just one. Ideally, three or more. One of them, uh, at least one of them, off-site, out of the office, out of the building, so that if you know there's a fire or something, that you still have a good copy off you know off the premises. So, so, so you're doing you that. that, which I like, and that's really important because if you get bit by a virus, the ba especially if it's ransomware, you know, the ones that encrypt your hard drive, having a good backup is going to save your life. Okay, well, then, then let me let me ask you, one of my considerations is to put, make sure that all my computers are on Carbonite, and then I do have external hard drives, and I and but they're connected to the computer, and I've been thinking about buying a... a a second external hard drive for uh, each computer, and then maybe every month alternating them, so I've got Excellent. one air gap. Yeah, so that's where the three come in. It's good to have Carbonite, but I also like having a local backup. And so it's nice to have a local backup. An air gap, you'd say that's an interesting thing, too. That means you're not attached to the computer. Uh, and it is, it is the case if you left that external hard drive connected all the time and you got some of the malware viruses would be smart enough to encrypt it as well, your backups as well as your originals. So Carbonite, that's not a problem. And it's not a problem if you're not always connected, if you're air gapped, as you say. So those are that's all a good strategy. I don't anymore recommend buying antiviruses. I uh, That has changed. Uh, and I'm and I'm not sure I would say universally. There are some people, people who uh, are act dangerously on the internet. Having a good antivirus probably will help them a little bit. But you point out the a really important point: you've not been bit by it because you're smart. You're updating your computer. You're not taking software from strangers. You're probably a little bit cynical when it comes to you know pop ups and things like that. And, if that's called practicing safe computing, if you do that, an antivirus, in my opinion, is a negative, not a positive. Now, here's why it's a negative. All antiviruses, in order to work, hook themselves deep into the operating system, very deep, deeper than a normal application does. And as a result, if there's anything wrong with the antivirus, they're going to provide a conduit for a bad guy into your system. Yes, and this has happened. You can be hacked because your antivirus is not secure. And it's a bad hack because your antivirus is tunneled right into that kernel. So I think antiviruses potentially are less secure. They only catch at best half of all infections, some often less. And they don't catch the really problematic ones, the zero day, the ones that are that just happened. And a lot of a lot of ransomware is zero day where they don't know about it yet. They'll know about it in a, in a week, but by then it's too late. So it, it, there's also the cost and there's also the compatibility issues. Even if it's not a security issue, many security programs cause problems. A lot of the calls we get are from people. It's, 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 I have to say it's better than it used to be, but it used to be a lot. 
people would call, I can't get on the internet. Well, it turned out it was Norton or something that was blocking them from the internet. So, I, you know, in general, I think an antivirus is not needed. For somebody who knows, as you do clearly, what you're doing, uh, a good backup is needed always, but an antivirus is not needed. Now, if you have, you know, unsophisticated users in your family, people who are doing, you know, teenagers are notorious for this, uh, an antivirus sometimes is it the extra protection you need to keep them from infecting the computer. I'd prefer to teach them not what not to do than anything else. We have a 15-year-old. For a long time, every time uh, you know I would go on his computer, be laden with not so much malware, but adware and spyware and stuff because he'd go to free sites and download you know the Five Nights at Freddy's free version, that kind of thing. And so, uh, but but I spent instead of you know, loading his system up with security software, I spent time with him explaining, you know, if you're going to go to a site to download free software, see how this happens, talk to me first or make sure that, you know, let's, and he, we haven't, you know, ever since we kind of did that training, haven't had a single problem. Uh, he, uh, he's learned how to be a safe computer user. And I think that's, it's not a hard thing to learn. I think that's probably the better thing to do than to say, rely on some, you know, software system to protect you, particularly since these software systems aren't full protection, often add security flaws and can slow your system down or even uh, make it unusable. So the answer is no, don't. You, Windows 10 particularly uh, is really secure. It comes with a built-in antivirus called Defender. So you do already have some protection. Uh, I think modern operating systems, whether it's OS 10, Mac OS, or uh, Windows, are, are very secure. So Keep doing what you're doing. I like the idea of a local backup, absolutely, in addition to the off-site. That's the three copies, you know, the original and two backups on two different media or two different styles, and that's what you're doing. And I like the air gapping. I think that's a good idea. One of the things I, uh, I used to do is I'd have a, a network-attached storage device at work, back up to it, then bring it home and have a duplicate device at home, which I'd bring to work. And that way, I, I you know, I always had an offline, up to date backup. There's ways to do this, and I think that uh, I think you're on the right track. I've got a couple more questions. If you've got time, you bet. Uh, if I if I uh, if I get rid of uh, all my antivirus or don't renew them, uh, I know when I'm visiting different sites, and like I told you, I I do build websites, so I'm out on the internet looking at different uh, articles and that kind of stuff. And I see ESET pops up. They uh, they're trying to communicate with your computer. You want to allow or block? If I if I'm absent all that stuff, how will I know if I actually have an antivirus uh, on my computer? If uh, if I don't have any any antivirus or anything to notify me, you're probably all right. I think one of the things antivirus companies do is they, and this is another reason I don't like them. They pop up stuff like that just to remind you they're working. It's basically an ad. You don't need that. Okay. All right. I understand. Last question. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, I lost my we lost our home in the Thomas uh, wildfire. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oi. Well, now you understand. <laughs> now I know why you back up. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The the two the two CPUs were, were about the only thing I got out of that house. Wow. I'm uh, so but sorry. None, but nonetheless, uh, in this very 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 slow process of uh, trying to rebuild. I'm wondering if I if I might be better off to migrate over to Apple, although I have not been a fan of Apple at all. I don't like their authoritarian ways, but I, I, it's such a such a hassle to keep up with Windows. <laughs> and well, Apple, yeah, I mean there are advantages. I am a mostly Apple guy. I'm using Windows in front of me right now, but I have a Mac also. Um, I think if you're happy with Windows 10, Microsoft's made great strides. I don't see any reason to change. I think it's more a personal choice than anything else. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.